Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger back on our video. This one's going to be about seven signs someone's a Jezebel spirit. The video I made yesterday is about was on seven signs God is exposing a narcissist to you. What the word is today, people call they call it a narcissist, but it's really a narcissist trait is pretty much Jezebel's spirit. And for those who don't know what Jezebel was, Jezebel was uh, she was the wife of Ahab in the Bible, and she used her beauty, she used her lust to seduce men, to destroy God's prophets, to destroy God's leaders, and through that she was able to rule over Israel through her husband because her husband was weak. Doesn't that sound like today Ahab's and Jezebel's woman ruling over men and man being weak, man being a slave to their lust, man not having the spiritual strength to lead, so the woman takes over? Isn't that happening today in America? So let's get it. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Number one sign, of, and also before I even start this, the Jezebel spirit, it works through, it's a spirit, so it works, it doesn't care if it's a boy or a guy or a girl, it's a spirit that jumps in, inside people's bodies, guys. It's a trait of a narcissist, right? So a guy could be a Jezebel and a girl could be a Jezebel spirit. So, it, But mostly, it's mostly girls and most guys today have the Ahab spirit, um, allowing Jezebel to destroy, to the, not only destroy their life, but destroy things around them. Okay, number one is, this is a key, especially me being God's leader, one of, one of God's leader, okay? One of the chosen. They hate God's leaders, and she lusts to destroy you. She falsely accuses the man of God, the man who's on that righteous path, the man who God anointed, the man who God chose. Jezebel's going to be your enemy, okay? And like I said, she lusts to destroy you. You notice how if you're a man of God, right, you got to understand, some of you all could relate to this. You have a woman coming your way, not because she likes likes you because you're cute. You know, you think you're cute. No, it's not because you're cute. It's because she's lusting after your spiritual strength, your spiritual power, because Jezebel desires that type of power. Now, Jezebel has power, but it's demonic. Okay, the power you have is the Holy Spirit. And then you shall re receive the, the Holy Spirit and power shall come upon you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Woo! Okay, so once you have that power in you, she lusts after that because she has what you don't have. And she's jealous and envious, traits of the devil. Okay, all these demonic spirits is all links to Satan. Okay, so she, uh, Jezebel's spirit, she hates God's leader. She, she falsely accuses them. Okay, she desires and like lusts after to destroy them. That's what she lusts after. So she's going to falsely accuse you, uh, slander, gossip. She could do whatever in her power. That's a Jezebel spirit. All right, so guys, be very cautious on these on these spirits. Man, number one, and this is not an order to, by the way, but this is one thing I noticed about Jezebel spirits. One thing I learned on this narrow path is always, they always just, just, they always hate God's leaders. Okay. Cause God's leaders, his man, we speak the truth and that's offensive to this. Everything is offensive in this society guys, but sin, when it comes, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Every, people are offensive to everything, but when it comes to when God says uh, certain sins, people are not offensive to that. It's just, it's a crazy world we live in, man. So number two, oh, this is deep. She seeks to control, influence and dominate men. Okay. And how she does that through her beauty. What did Jezebel do in the Bible, guys? In the Bible, Jezebel is the only one mentioned that she painted her face, which means she put makeup on. So she put makeup on her face to manipulate men. And you, and you sisters, you got to understand that us real men, we like a woman who's natural. A woman who doesn't have to put on makeup. Yeah, you might not be as cute or, you know, to other people, you know, to other men. But I like a woman who's natural because I'm natural. I don't got to put on artificial things. You might not be the prettiest thing, but it's all about your soul and your spirit. Okay, if you have that, this, this spirit in you, that's, that's nasty. And see, these Jezebels, if you're a carnal, low vibrational man, if you're not spiritual, you're going to be attracted to these Jezebels because what? They use, they have the manipulation, they have the filters, they have the um, the makeup, they have the eyeliners, uh, less than after her beauty, uh, less than after her eyebrows. I'll leave that verse right here, you know? So they have all this type of things and, you can, and, and it makes men who are, who are a slave to their lust, the men who can't stop watching the websites, the men who can't stop fapping, the man who just can't can't be on dating apps to just fornicate here and there, here and there. Okay, Jezebel could use those men, can control those men. Okay, so she uses her beauty to de to desire to destroy you. And yes, Jezebel was the only one mentioned in the Bible who painted her face, who put on makeup. Okay, she did that to deceive men, her beauty. And like I said, a lot of men are atoms. A lot of men are weak. Okay, and a lot of men, are, you might be saying, well, Mark, everyone's an atom. Well, those who are born again are now under Christ. But if you haven't been born again, you're still under Adam. You allow a woman to control you, a woman to use you and abuse you, and you don't care. Okay, you must be born again. Woo! Okay, so that's what she does, guys. She seeks to control, influence, plant seeds in your mind. What did, what did Jezebel do, guys? She wanted to kill God's prophets in the book of Kings. Okay, and where's, how did she do that? She, she influenced the, uh, the people uh, in Israel back in those days to try to influence them to kill God's prophets. They had to hide from Jezebel. That's how much power she had. And all the men, all these damn simps, they were all just worshiping her. 
Okay, Jezebel's spirit, understand that she influenced other men to try to kill God's prophets. Elijah had to hide. Elijah wasn't afraid of Jezebel. He wasn't afraid of the prophets of Baal. All right, so understand that. Number three, ooh, this is, yeah, I've been dealing with Jezebel's for a long time. Guys. She's defensive when confronted about her own sin and rebellion. Really defensive. And she, you know, she, she makes us feel like you're the evil person. You're the bad person because you're calling her out on her BS. Now, now, now you're the bad person. No, don't fall for it, guys. That's another form of manipulation. What, if you ever see me in sin and rebellion, call me out. I'm a man. I'm like, I'm a thank you. The Bible even says, if you correct a wise man, he will love you. If you correct a fool, they will hate you. I'll leave it right here. Proverbs chapter nine. Or yeah, I think it's Proverbs chapter nine. I'll leave the verse right here though. Okay. Make sure I leave it some space because I know this, sometimes I'll be cutting out my face. But anyways, there you go. Okay. So she's offensive when it her own sin and rebellion. Guys, if you're in a relationship or guys or girls, if you're in a relationship with a Jezebel spirit, uh, you got to leave now. This could be the messenger. Mark the messenger. If you're in a leave. Okay. You can't change them. Okay. You, and now you can pray for them. Now, the only thing you could do to help these people who have demons on them, right? It's just to pray for them. Love them from a distance. Because these people, if you're trying to walk that narrow path. These, these demonic spirits, they're going to keep you backwards. And whenever you try to break a soul tie with a Jezebel, it's not going to be easy. Okay, you break a soul tie with a Jezebel, she's going to be popping up, uh, texting you, of, of knocking at your door. You block them on every social media. They somehow find, they make fake accounts, fake numbers. That's what you got to deal with. That's why the Bible says flee fornication. Don't be so quick to have sex with someone, guys. Be patient. Wait on God and pray if that person is of God. Because if you're a child of God, God will show you. God will show you. So be patient. Don't be in a rush to to smack, to have have sex. Guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. And don't be a slave to your lust. Because when you're in a slave to your lust, Jezebel can control you. That's a weak point. Jezebel sees that. All right, number four. She requires excessive attention and admiration. Ooh, this is deep. Yep, that's what Jezebel does. Narcissistic traits. Okay, remember that the word today, what people call narcissist, is really a Jezebel spirit. Okay? Uh, but people of this world, they don't... People, A lot of people don't even believe in the Bible. So that's, that's probably why. But anyways... She requires stuff with attention. That's why she puts on all the makeup. You know, I remember I was in a relationship with a girl, right? This is years ago, way back, way back in the days. And this girl could not leave the house without putting on makeup. And she was really cute without makeup. Like, she, she, to me, she was really cute. You know, but when the makeup on, you know, it's just like the gassed up ego. It was just so gassed up. And that's what, that's the Jezebel is. She requires excessive attention and admiration. Even if she just going to the store real quick, she got to put on makeup. It's like, it ain't, that, it ain't that serious. It ain't that deep. But Jezebel got to have that attention. She got to have that admiration. You got to admire her. She has to have everyone looking at her. It makes her feel like empowered. It's like the ego, the demon of ego in them. Okay, so, and I know some dudes do this too. They got to have on the, they got to have on the Versace. They got to have on this, you know, just to feel comfortable in their own skin. Okay, I know some Jezebel dudes too. I know some Jezebel, and those dudes have the effeminate spirit in them. Because that's a feminine spirit. So those dudes have that spirit. They're effeminate. And unfortunately, the women of the world, they, they like those type of men. So it is what it is, man. Number five is doesn't care about the truth, lacks empathy. Okay, you try. That's why I tell you, if you're in a relationship with, with a Jezebel or a friendship, leave immediately. Okay, she doesn't care about the truth. You could give her a Bible verse. Remember the Bible. What did Jesus say? Don't cast your pearls on the swine. That's what a lot of y'all are doing, though. Don't cast your pearls on them. Don't cast your pearls on the swine. Let let people do what they want to go. Okay, you you. The only thing you could do, guys, is walk the path that God has as a uh, place you want. Okay, the path of righteousness, the path of eternal life through your faith through Jesus Christ. Okay, so understand that. Don't, I, that's one thing I did in the past. I was trying to save a Jezebel. But what is that, what is that the song by J. Cole? Uh, you can't save these, oh, it says, um, um, don't save her. She don't want to be, that's what it's like. Yeah, yeah, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. That's, that's what Jezebel is. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. So let her go. Let her go and, and let him go. When, 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 when God is letting me, when God's letting you know you got to let go of someone, guys, let him go. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Facts, bro. Y'all smash the like button, man. Smash it. Okay, so number six, we'll never repent. Ooh. Ooh. Bible says that he's going to cast the people with the Jezebel spirit in a deathbed in the book of Revelation. She'll never repent. Okay. Most of them won't. Most of them won't. There's some Jezebels who repent, but most, most Jezebels, they won't repent. Okay. And always the victim. They always play a victim. And as they always play a victim, they get others to try to join. Because uh, like, the other, other, um, Adams or other other Eves or other Jezebels and other, Jezebel spirits both uh, both Jezebels they team up. So when when whenever she's playing victim, Jezebels gonna have the other Jezebels are gonna have her side. I, I know how the game works. The Jezebel spirit will never because she, she, she's defensive when you confront her about her own sin and rebellion. She and the Jezebel spirit is also a rebellious spirit. The Bible says rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. 
okay? A lot of Jezebel spirits, guys, they play with tarot cards. They play with astrology. Okay, they play with um, uh, crystals, all those new age stuff. That's a, that's a Jezebel spirit. You got to be careful. And it's crazy because these females, a lot of the time, they're, you know, they look good in the flesh. They look, but, they, but, but we, but spiritual man, us men in the most high, we, we see the spirit. <laughs> we see the spirits. We ain't attracted to those demons. No, you might look good. You might have a nice, nice behind, a pretty face. But that spirit, ooh, that spirit's gonna send a soul to hell if you stay down with them. So understand, man. It's a spiritual. I told you guys all my videos. Spiritual war, uh, warfare. We don't battle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Woo! Number seven. Uses sexual seduction to control. Okay. Um, she uses to control her husband, her own husband, Ahab. And see, best believe, guys, you in a relationship, you think that Jezebel is going to get in trouble. No, Ahab got in trouble too. God was going to judge Ahab, but the Bible says that he fasted for, I think it was four or five days. He didn't drink water. He didn't eat for four or five days. So God, God had favor on, on him and he passed down the curse to his to the future generation. Okay, so if you're in a Jezebel, guys, you want to break it free, go, go on to fast. Go on to Ahab fast and uh, dry fast. I think it was, I think it was four or five days. He didn't eat no water, didn't drink no food. They tried to offer him. He said, no. Okay, he humbled himself. That's what God likes. So all the wrath he did, all the, all the hell and destruction that was causing Israel because of his wife, God, and, and because of him too, he has to take accountability too because he got down with her. I believe that Jezebel wasn't even an Israelite. She was a Gentile woman, okay? She was a strange woman. So because of that, uh, God had favor on Ahab because he fasted, he dry fasted, and, and he, pretty much when he fasts, it's, well, not everyone fasts for this reason, but when you fast, it's supposed to be for repentance, you know, at God, you know, give me favor, forgive me for my sins. That's what fasting is for. So not just when you get with a Jezebel, but whenever you fall short of the glory of God, whenever you go back to your vomit, whenever you do a sin, guys, I'm telling you, fast, go on a fast and pray too. Fasting and prayer is like a PB&J. It goes hand in hand. It's like a bun with a burger. So you got to be definitely when you're fasting and also praying too. God, have mercy on my life. Forsake uh, He who confesses his sins shall have mercy. And you got to forsake them too. Okay, so that's that's it for the Jezebel spirit, guys. Like I said, the Jezebel spirit works through man and woman. But mostly in my life, I, I've seen some, the dudes who have the Jezebel spirit, they're like effeminate. But like I said, nowadays, these modern women, they like that. Okay, so they hate God's leaders and they lust to destroy you. She seeks to control, influence, and dominate men. She's defensive when confronted about her own sin and rebellion. Requires excessive attention and admiration. She has narcissistic traits. Doesn't care about truth, lacks empathy. Will never repent, always the victim. And she uses sexual seduction to control. Remember, Jezebel was the one who put on makeup. It's all to control and, you know, to control men. Men who are slaves to their lusts. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, there's fake pages on the comments below uh, telling you to text you. That's not me, guys. Don't click on any of those links. All, if you want to support me, my links are all down in the description. That's where I will never go out and reach and text. That's weird. So please don't fall for it. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out this end screen right here. I made a video about um, going on Jezebel's couple. It was like a live stream. So I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.